How can you say pedophilia is wrong, but you are accepting of homosexuality? How can you say murder is wrong, but you are accepting of stealing? How can you say having sex with someone's spouse is wrong, but you are accepting of sex before marriage? How can you say committing crimes are wrong, but you lie and cheat often? How can you tell me about morality when you are immoral? Does that make any sense? There has to be a standard in place. We can't go by our own rules. We can't say one thing is wrong, but we are accepting of another wrong thing. There has to be a standard. Everything you see here on this chart is a sin. So you can't really say anything about a person that is doing wrong when you are doing wrong yourself. This is why it is important to go by the word of God, not by our own way of thinking, because we can't condemn anyone when we are doing wrong ourselves. Does that make any sense? So we can't point the finger at no one if we are doing wrong, because everything you see here is a sin so whether you believe that your sin is more safe or less bad, sin is sin. A little tiny sin, some people may think that lying is not that big or it is not really a huge sin. That sin can send you to hell just as fast as murdering a person. Some people may think that cheating is a very small sin. Well, cheating can send you to hell just as quick as a person who rapes people seven days a week. Sin is sin. So we have to make sure that we are out, that we are not in sin. Does that make any sense? Stay out of sin. So I really hope you understand this. God bless.